So I know that this can get pretty confusing mm -hmm. with all the back and forth. If you're one of those people who hears debt ceiling, maybe you think to yourself, well, what does that mean for me? So we got your back here. Yeah, first inflation is already a problem. That'll likely get worse. Millions of people could lose their jobs. And since we live in the nation's capital, we'll see some direct impacts of a default here at home. Yeah, John Henry spent the day looking into the possible effects we could see if the debt ceiling isn't raised in time. He's with us now with the details. A lot on the line here, John. Yeah, there is. Adam and Sharla, if no deals reached and the debt limits not raised, we can expect the federal government's spending to be reprioritized. And that scenario could disproportionately impact the D.C. region. If the United States hits that limit, Michael Falkender, the Dean's Professor of Finance at the University of Maryland's Smith School, says Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen will be left with some tough choices. My understanding, having been at Treasury, is that you would have to pay the, the interest first, and then there's not going to be enough money left over to pay all of the other things that are authorized. She would have to decide how much money federal workers and contractors get, which federal programs get scaled back. And that'd be huge locally, as federal data shows D.C., Virginia, and Maryland are right at the top when it comes to how many federal workers they have compared to other states. Would likely have a disproportionate effect on the D.C. area because so much of the income derived by people living in this area comes from the federal government. But if no agreement were reached, all the communities with military bases in our area could hurt too, as could all the active duty members. Two years ago, Virginia had the second highest number of them in the country. That's going to be true of any geography where the primary employer is the federal government. Furthermore, the American Federation of Government Employees worries not passing the debt limit would create a recession, compounding the pain federal workers feel. High housing costs, high interest rates, high inflation, and now put on top of that the possibility that their pay may be cut or their agency budgets may be slashed, and it's a very serious situation. Now that union's also worried a potential deal between Republicans and the White House could still lead to cuts for many federal workers. Meanwhile, Falkender said right now he believes the burden is on the democratically controlled Senate as House Republicans have already passed their own plan. Yeah, that's why everybody is paying such close attention to this. It could affect so many different things here in the area. John Henry, thank you.